And by the way, Senator Jones will be joining us tomorrow morning right here on Way 31 Morning News. Wait, as students prepare to return to the classroom, teachers and staff members spent most of their summer months working on ways to keep the learning environment as close to normal as they can. And Marie, they were following social distance guidelines as well. Right, thanks to partnerships with the University of Alabama Huntsville's Systems Management and Production Center, Jackson County teachers will be able to keep communication clear as they go back to school. The user can um, tighten it up just by pulling this through. Staff at the Ernest Pruitt Center of Technology have been busy making 3D face shields. <laughs> The project that we started out with is 200, and that was for the uh, essential employees being the, the ones that have more one-on-one -on -one contact with the students. Drafting instructor Tammy Clark said right now, the focus is on outfitting pre-K through third grade levels. That's typically where kids are trying to learn to read or have speech therapy. Wearing a face mask, they can't see, you know, how to pronounce certain words, you know, see how their mouth moves, or some kids may not be able to uh, comprehend what they're saying through a solid material mass. So they're able to see that through a clear uh, plastic shield. It's just a transparency shield. Allowing teachers and students to work together while staying safe. If the shield becomes cloudy in any way, they can easily replace it with another shield. Throughout the school year and with the help of students in their ag shop classes, more masks will be created for employees in fourth grade and up. And it can all be created inside the classroom, allowing students to continue their hands-on learning experience. So again, funding for the project is through a partnership with UAH, specifically their Systems Management and Production Center. Well, speaking of Jackson County Schools, joining us now live via Zoom this morning, Superintendent Kevin Dukes. Superintendent Dukes, thanks so much for being back on our program this morning. Thank you for having me. Thank you. You betcha. You folks have a big day coming Friday headed back to school. What safety precautions are in place for Friday morning for school? We're really cleaning and sanitizing and, and teaching our, our staff and employees about cleaning and sanitizing. Each school will have a nurse. We're going to have assigned seats on the school bus that, you know, when the first ones on are going to go to the back of the bus and, and we're going to unload from the beginning of the bus. Each classroom will have assigned seats. Our cafeteria is going to be at 50% capacity. We're going to have assigned seats in there. And, and one of the key things we're going to just have to keep up with our seating charts. We're not planning on having an overflow of students out in the hallways. We're gonna have to be um, strategic in how we, we send a class at a time to change, things like that. So that way we can keep up with who is around who at all times during the school day. And in case someone does get it, we'll know who they've been around. So you have protocols in place right now just in case a positive case comes up or, uh, or, or more students or teachers, in fact, get coronavirus. Could, could you tell that really quick to us this morning what that protocol is? Well, it, it's, it, we got a lot of information yesterday from the toolkit from the yeah. Alabama Department of Public Health. That toolkit will be a guide for us, and it is available to the public. And, and you know, and it, it'll help us determine how many people need to be sent home. If it's just a teacher, if it's a group of students, if it's a whole class, if it's a whole wing, and it'll be, ba every case will be different, but it will be based on who, who's been around who. Mm -hmm. Superintendent Dukes, what's the percentage of students that will be in class for in-person learning on Friday? Do you have kind of a, a rough estimate of what you're expecting? Our original number showed about 85% wanted to be back in school. Well, now Jackson County's numbers have been up in the last few days. So we expect it to, to drop down a little bit. I, my guess right now is about 80%. Um, our, our people want to go back to school. Our, our, our parents need to go back to work. They, they need to put bread on their table. Our students want to learn. And so, so I think that has a big part in it. But we're offering remote. So any, any parent that does not feel safe sending their child, their child's going to get the same education at home if they choose that route. How can parents get their kids ready to go back now? We're about 48 hours away from getting back to the classroom. What do they need to start doing? What conversations do they need to start having with their kids this morning? They just need to talk about personal responsibility with their, with their child. I mean, they need to, to encourage them to wear their masks, to social distance, 
to wash their hands, to, to, to use the hand sanitizer stations that are throughout the school. That they just need to really encourage their child to do that, and that's going to be very helpful through this process. Superintendent uh, Dukes, about 30 seconds left to go. What about precautions in place, extracurricular activities, sports activities, those kinds of things? Well, our, our sports have been going on since June 1st. We've mm -hmm. got six high schools, and during that time from June 1st to now, we've had six student athletes test positive and three coaches. So the precautions that they have been doing is obviously working. I mean, yes, we'll get more as time goes on, but, but we're really pleased that, that the numbers are that low with us going from June 1st till now with weight training and conditioning and things. So, so the things that they're doing, wearing masks, hand sanitizing, distancing, using their own water bottles, things like that, we're pleased with so far. You bet. The excitement building up until this Friday. In the meantime, we appreciate you, Jackson County School Superintendent Kevin Dukes, for joining us again this morning. Thank you. Thank you for having us. All right. Thank you. Good luck on Friday. Mm -hmm. Time now, 641 on your Wednesday morning.